Today, we have some exciting news for all Samsung Galaxy users out there. Samsung is gearing up to launch the One UI 7 beta program, and there's a lot to unpack. Let's dive into the latest updates, leaked features, and what you can expect from this upcoming software upgrade. First up, let's talk about the start date. According to trusted sources, including well-known journalist and leaker Max Jamber, the One UI 7 beta program is set to kick off on Monday, July 29. This is a big deal because it means Galaxy owners can soon start testing out the new software before its official release later this year. If you're excited to get your hands on One UI 7 early, mark your calendars. So what can we expect from One UI 7? One of the most anticipated features is the integration of new Galaxy artificial intelligence capabilities. These AI features, first seen on Samsung's latest foldable phones, are expected to roll out to older devices with this update. This means improved performance and more intuitive experiences across the board. Additionally, One UI 7 is rumored to introduce separate panels for notifications and quick settings, a design choice similar to what's seen on iOS. This could streamline how you interact with your device, making it easier to access important functions quickly. Another exciting addition is a new method for locking apps, providing an extra layer of security for your personal information. Whether you're safeguarding sensitive data or just keeping prying eyes away from your apps, this feature could be a game changer. The beta program will initially be available for the Galaxy S24 series and Samsung's latest foldable phones. However, it's expected to expand to older flagship models and recent mid-range devices shortly after. So even if you don't have the latest device, there's a good chance you'll be able to experience One UI 7 soon. We've also got some interesting leaked screenshots that give us a glimpse into the new design elements coming with One UI 7. If you missed the earlier rumors, get ready for a visual overhaul. Expect new animations, redesigned menus, updated icons, and a refreshed overall look. Some of the new icon designs have already leaked, including changes to the camera and gallery apps. Recently, we got a sneak peek at the new icons for the Samsung Internet app and the native phone app, thanks to leaker Chan Bue. All of the screenshots are a bit blurry. They show a noticeable shift in design aesthetics. The Samsung Internet icon has been rotated 90 degrees and features more shades of blue with subtle gradients, while the phone app icon has taken on a fuller, pill-like shape. One of the standout features expected in One UI 7.0 is Samsung's take on Apple's dynamic island and live activities. For those unfamiliar, live activities provide real-time updates on your lock screen. For example, a sports app could show live game scores, allowing you to keep track of the action without unlocking your device. Fresh new features and the familiar Samsung experience. So are you excited about the One UI 7.0 update? What feature are you most looking forward to? Let me know in the comments section below. That's it for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and turn on notifications so you don't miss any updates. Also, check out the description for links to related videos and more details on upcoming events like the Samsung Developer Conference. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip.
This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.